All right, Matt, UFC Singapore coming at us live this Saturday from the Singapore Indoor Stadium in the city-state of Singapore. And listen, our first fight on the main card is actually a potential fight of the night. Really You've is. got Muslim Salikov taking on Loriano Staropoli. And listen, you can see it in the nickname of Salikov. He's the king of kung fu. He's actually a master of sport in Wushu Sanda, which is insane. This guy's kickboxing cardio is really good. Which is kind of surprising because if you just look at the stat line, he's 35 years old. Like he came into the UFC yeah, fairly late, leathered. fairly late in his career. He's already two and one. And if you look at his last two wins, I mean, yeah, Ricky Rainey, okay, it was a knockout. That's pretty cool. And then he beat Nordin Taleb, who's a guy that Matt, you and I definitely hold in high regard. Well, two years ago, a <laughs> tri-star guy. And I'm really looking forward to it. And for Loriano Staropoli, you look at his debut in the UFC. It was a fight of the night against Hector Aldana. And then a decision win over Tiago Alves. I mean, Tiago Alves is a really big name to beat. So I'm really looking forward to this fight. It should be a good one. It, it, yeah, like you said, it really should be a good one. Salikov, though, he's got that weird X factor of he is the king of Kung Fu. He's going to throw so many different techniques at you that you probably haven't even seen in training before. Uh, in his last one against Lordy Taleb, I know he just kind of knocked him out with a regular right hand, but he throws so many body kicks, so many spinning back kicks, the body, head, even he goes to the legs. If, if you get a chance, go back, watch the Kung Loon fight that he had against Melvin Gallard in 2017. You can say, Craig, Melvin Gallard's over the hill. Yeah. He, yeah, that's much. true, but you get to see a little bit of a showcase in about 30 seconds yeah, of what Muslim Salikov can do. I mean, the spinning attacks to the body, the spinning attacks to the head. Galar kind of eggs him on, almost like a Bech Kohea, yeah. and then he throws a, what was it, a hook kick yeah. to knock him out. So Muslim Salikov, definitely a good story to be watching heading into this one. As far as the odds are concerned, Matt, in this fight, yeah, Salikov's going to be a favorite here, minus 175. You've got Staropoli at a plus 150. Who are you going to take in this one? I'm going to take Salikov. I think it's been quite obvious, given this two-minute breakdown, that we both <laughs> think Salikov's going to win. Just his kind of combination of speed and power. Sterpoli had a tough time with Tiago Alves. He ate a lot of shots in that fight. And I just don't think that you can do that same kind of thing against a guy like Salikov. It should be a fun fight regardless. This is arguably a fight of the night to kick off oh, the yeah, main okay. card. It's a fun card from Singapore. You get to rival one championship here. So don't miss our two-minute predictions here. UFC Singapore fight night picks. Let's get into it. 